is the seventh year of our <clears throat> fall outreach here where we bring watermelon out to all the local high school football teams throughout the valley here and this year we're offering it to many other sports as well just an opportunity for us to go on out there to challenge the young men and women to be the best men and women of god they can to truly impact this world for him in this obsession with so y'all stay with me guys appreciate y'all so very much here and guys we just got to recognize the opportunity that god truly gives us you realize that we are on probably a million dollar facility here that we get to play the game of football at you recognize the privilege that God truly gives us. And for some reason, it's this group of 70 guys, I'm gonna say, and coaches that God gave that privilege to. We need to turn around and honor and glorify Him by the way we do it. Guys, the final key as far as being a great football player is you better have faith, you better believe. Let me talk to you real quickly about being a great man of God here. And the key verse we use comes from 1 Corinthians that says, but thanks be to God for the victory He gives us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Guys, when we love and serve God in a mighty way, he'll do some tremendous things for us. You talk about being humble. There's a great book by a guy named Mark Batterson that challenges us. And guys, I'm going to tell you, you want to be used by God just like he used Moses, just like he used David, you do this. He challenges us every morning to get down someplace quiet and push everything out. Get in a circle, if you will. That's what I got this rope here for. Push everything else on and say, God, I want you to use me today. Use me to be the best man of God that I can, that I can impact this football team and people around me for you. Guys, when we do that, then God can start doing the work. It's like going in the weight room. The second one is the truth. I don't know how many of you guys pick this up very often, but this is the Bible. It's God's word there. If we want to know truly what it is that we need to do, we got to get in and read it because that will tell you what the words are that ought to be coming out of your mouth. That'll tell you what you need to be doing when you're going out with your friends and eating. It's going to tell you what it is when you go out with that lady and she maybe even wants to do things that you know aren't right. That word of God is going to direct you in the right way. Guys, could truth beat lies? You can throw this away in a heartbeat if you listen to the lies that the world has for you. Don't do that. Ground your life in the truth that's in God's word and he will guide you and let you do some great things. The last key we have is we got to have faith. We got to believe. If we're willing to humble ourselves, give our life to him, get into his word, God will do some amazing things with you. FCA for me is a, a, just a great opportunity to reach kids in the school. A lot of times you see kids that would never be connected to God in any other way and you get a chance to talk to the athletes and teach them how to live their life as a Christian. I think that's really important uh, for us to, to just have a chance to relate with all different types of kids, not just the ones that go to church, but maybe the ones that don't go to church. Um, it, it allows us to draw them in in a, in a relaxed environment and really speak to them about the gospel, which is the reason we do what we do is we want to bring kids to the gospel and see them follow after Christ. I think FCA is really important for our kids. It gives them uh, a core group of fellow Christians to gather with. And it's really been blessed here the last year to be a character coach and to work with the basketball team over at Cave Spring High School. He's uh, done a great job in providing a structure for a lot of these kids' lives uh, that really need it. We really appreciate all they do for coming in every week and and giving the word to, uh, to the, our young men. And, uh... I'd like to thank FCA for sponsoring our 707. They've been sponsoring it for, I think, six years now. And they always give us a good inspirational uh, talk before we come out and compete. And we appreciate everything they do for us before the season as well with the watermelon. And we're, we're proud to be a part of uh, FCA in this Roanoke Valley. But you know what, guys? Being a Christian isn't all that easy, just like being a championship football team is it? You've got to be out here putting the work in. You've got to be putting putting the time in the weight room. The same is true to us. We got to get into the Word of God and ask God to truly speak to us and I help us understand what we need to do to be the best men of God we can. But FCA, I think, is a critical organization uh, in the development of our young men. It allows them an opportunity to, to see Christ in, in an athletic format that a lot of people may not really realize that, you know, where we can express our Christianity through what we do on the field is just a critical example of how Christ lived and what we should do. For the 30 years uh, that I can remember, uh, my high school 
involvement through college and, and as a teacher for 10 years or for 20 years. Um, I remember vividly the FCA being an integral part of our, of our school system, uh, whether it was in rural New Kent County, uh, to uh, the city of Newport News, uh, to here, uh, especially here in, in Roanoke, Virginia. Um, our, our kids have a, a unique perspective um, on their, uh, their connection with Christ. Um, they have the, the opportunity to celebrate life in uh, our fields of faith. And uh, I think it has, has gone a long way um, to, to touching uh, this generation of, of young men and women uh, throughout the valley. Um, and then of course the state of Virginia.